You guys want some goosebumps? Well, then you're in luck because you came to the right goddamn video. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. So I just wanted to say thanks to one of my subscribers, uh, David Marcy, who sent me over this trailer. Um, God damn. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie, I, I, I have watched this trailer. Um, normally I don't watch trailers until I watch them on here with you guys for the first time. But I did watch this one. And Christ, I still have fucking goosebumps after what I have not been this excited for a movie or over a trailer since I saw the, the trailer for the movie Terrified. I mean, God damn it. And the, the other thing, I just, I didn't know anything about this movie. It just kind of came out of nowhere. Um, I, I got a, uh, an email today, not from David, but from, uh, from somebody else. And they gave me the synopsis and the, and the lowdown on this movie and said I should check it out. And I was like, yeah, okay. But that was earlier today. And then uh, David sent me over the trailer and I watched it. And I was like, holy, f why have I not heard of this fucking movie before? It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, just a quick, uh, just a quick rundown on who's in this. Uh, it's written and directed, and I apologize if I get your name wrong, but I think it's Pierre Reginald Tiao. I think that's how you say his name correct. Now he's got a bunch of movies, uh, not only written um, but also directed. Um, a couple notables are The Evil Inside and The Curse of Sleeping Beauty. So, but he's got a lot more movies out than just that. But um, wow, and then. This movie stars Robert Kaczynski, uh, Peter Jason, who is like kind of a, an icon, and then uh, Douglas Spain, just to name a few. But man, oh man, well, this fucking trailer just blew me away. Um, I'd give you the synopsis, but it's, I mean, it's pretty much demonic possession. That's all you need to know. Um, you know what? So from here, I'm just going to shut up. And we are going to fucking watch this thing, and then we will talk about it after. I, I guarantee, if you do not have fucking goosebumps after watching this trailer, I hope I hope you guys, um, like, if you, if you watch this trailer, put it on full screen and turn the lights off, and I hope you have stereo sound, and just, just turn it up and watch this thing. And if you don't have fucking goosebumps when this trailer's over, then you need to check yourself for a fucking pulse. So anyways, okay, here we go. This, wow. Do you know... What this is? It's a camera. And this shows us what's really there. And it's going to show us there's nothing to be afraid of. Something weird happened. Last night with Joel, the guy whose son I've been babysitting. I'm scared for Mason. Could you maybe go check on them? Uh, who are you? What are you doing in my house? It's a long story. Mason. Mason, hi. Mason, come on. Hey. Say something! You've been marked by him, my son. We're not dealing with any ordinary demon here. It goes by many names. Taking on identities, myths, fear, legends. Only an exorcism can save you. I'll trust you. But if anything happens to Mason, God won't save you from me. Jesus Christ. Okay, I got, this is the third time I've watched this trailer and I have goosebumps again. Like this thing is fucking crazy looking. Wow. So not only is it like a demonic possession movie, but I mean, it's also a creature feature. I mean, did they give too much away in this trailer? I don't know. But 
I want to see more of this fucking movie. I know that much. Wow, this this thing is fucking crazy. Um, so it has no distribution deal yet. It's uh, obviously it, it even says it in the trailer. It's going to premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival in October. Holy, <laughs> even even the write up for it at uh, at the International Film Festival in, in Toronto, even it like the the first paragraph of this movie when it's when it's advertising it says the scariest movie at the Toronto International Film Festival this year is more than likely this movie. So I'm like, God damn, like this thing, considering it came out of nowhere, at least for me anyways, I don't know if you guys knew about this movie before I did, but holy shit, this thing's fucking crazy looking. So I don't know, man. Um, I like the I like demonic possession movies. I really do. Um, I've said this before. Anytime you put a kid in it, you know what I mean? It just kind of amps up the, the, the creeps. And this kid... Um, definitely is, is a good actor. Cause I mean, I, even just him sitting there emotionless was, was kind of giving me goosebumps and freaking me out. And then that one scene when he's on the bed where his eyes roll back in his head, like I'm talking like fucking forget about it. And then the, these creatures, the, the one scene where, where Peter Jason's driving in the car and he looks out the window and there's that fucking spider creature behind the tree. Like, I don't know, man. And then there's there's creatures literally running in this fucking house, like banging in the doors, and the goddamn Polaroid camera, man. I don't know what it is with those things, but it's almost like those things were designed for horror movies. So uh, this movie looks fucking crazy. So again, it's called The Ascent. Looks fucking off the hook. Um, wow. Uh, Jesus Christ. I don't even know what else to say about it. Um, again, it's written and directed. By Pierre Reginald Tiao, um, writer and director. So this is his movie, and there's there's um, it hasn't even been picked up yet. So I mean I don't know if he crowdfunded or what he did to get the money. I don't know what the budget is, and I honestly don't care. <laughs> it's just it looks fucking fantastic, and it looks like I know there's there's CGI in here, but it also looks like the, there's a lot of the creatures or creature that. That's actually practical, which looks fucking killer too. So, man, oh man, I, I just can't rave enough about how much these lower budgeted horror movies are kicking ass lately. Like, it's just, it's fantastic. Now, again, this is just a trailer. I haven't actually seen the movie, but I said the same thing when I watched Terrified, okay? When I watched the trailer and I can just tell, you know what I mean? Like, when a movie's going to kick ass or not. And I have a really good feeling that this movie is going to be as good as this trailer is making it look. So anyways, holy shit. Um, I don't know if I'm going to the Toronto After Dark Film Festival this year or not, but if I do, I'm definitely going to uh, make sure I check this movie out But because um, I don't know how long we're going to have to wait to see it because, like I said, there's no distribution deal yet, but I am definitely going to keep my eye on this one, and when it does get picked up, I will be letting you guys know. So make sure you jump over onto Facebook and join Happy Wax TV because uh, I do a lot of posting in there. And uh, yeah, man, tell me what you think about this trailer. Did it give you goosebumps? Um, fuck, I still got goosebumps. <laughs> I wish I could show you if I'm in a close-up, but goddamn, this looks good. Anyways, movie's called The Ascent. Um, I'm, I'm raving about this movie and rambling about it as well, so I'm going to stop it here. But yeah, let me know what you think of the trailer. Um, this thing looks kick-ass. And also, too, if you are going to the After Dark Film Festival, let me know if you're going to be there and see this flick. Uh, because I'm interested to see what your take is um, on after you see it. So anyways, The Ascent looks fucking amazing. Can't wait to see the movie. And uh, yeah, guys, as always, until next time, stay scared.